Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday morning, December 5th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. And as you can see here, with 75 minutes to go prior to the opening, we have been pushing down to lower lows here pre-market. Again, I wasn't here on Friday. I could see the afternoon pullback low. You talk about a mechanical level, 40, 50 on the nose. Our afternoon pullback in ES. Well, we're heading there right now. Um, Pre-market right now, high for SPY is 407. The overnight low was 404.59, but it looks like we might be making some new overnight lows. Triple Qs, same thing. They were 10 wide, it looks like, back on Friday. So we'll see if we get um, any acceptance into Friday's value. You should trade there. And Russell was only 7 wide. They had an afternoon pullback low in H. And I see that they had a trend day up on Friday. So we'll see if any acceptance below the afternoon pullback do they go and get down to the trend day. Now, as far as SPY and ES, remember, at the high last week, we had some excess. Well, again on Friday, look at this nice pop. They attempted to have change take place on Friday when K ripped above F, when trend in L, only to have M take it back. So last two days, we have some decent excess up at the highs. We'll see if that's going to hold. Remember, excess ends one auction and begins another. We do have a 15 wide pock not far from where the change attempted to take place up at 69.50. So as far as the game plan for this morning, well, 75 minutes to go. If the overnight low basically stops around here, well, and we push up in the next 75 minutes. This is a decent risk reward long against the overnight low and the afternoon pullback. That's if it holds here. If we start going a lot further on the overnight low, then I wouldn't lean too much on H's low. We'll see how that 40-50 area um, reacts. We are back in balance on the daily. Again, you can call it a two-day balance, Thursday and Friday. Or if you want to encompass Wednesdays too, again, that's something we would have to uh, see uh, if we take out uh, Friday's low, how much we get into Wednesday. Remember, ES did get into the single prints a little bit. SPY did not from that day, those two big ones. They are two big sets of single prints. I don't think they're going to be that easy to fill. But again, it remains to be seen how aggressive sellers would get. So if we were to get down and take out Friday's low, again, I'd see, remember... I had said this on Thursday. This is kind of the important level for me here. You didn't want to take back this whole day. And again, it is. So if you get down to around the 1550 level, again, you'd like to hold 4,000, right? Well, this set of single prints, okay, is basically starts right around 4,000. So if bulls are going to continue to have a chance for this nice uh, rally and Santa Claus rally, I think they got to kind of hold this day. If we take back that Wednesday after Powell and especially take out that poor low, remember, not only is it a poor low, there's no excess between these two daily lows. So if we take those out, okay, number one, you're going to be putting the weekly back into balance too. So if that was to happen, remember, I said I thought September's high is very doable. Well, we got very close to September's high. Is that all they want and it's a lower high? Well, if we take out Last week's low at some point, I'm going to say yes, and we might have, we might cap our Santa Claus rally at September's high. If we're able to defend this, then eventually I think we get September's high and more. So that's going to be important. So again, a possible long if the overnight low is around here against the 40-50 afternoon pullback. If in the next 75 minutes this thing goes lower... Well, then on a push up where there were buyers at 40, 50, I would look to see if they're sellers, especially if we open with lower overlap and lower value. Then I look for a short against H's low if the overnight is down here. Okay? And if the next 75 minutes we gap lower, then that'll be very interesting because you'll have a gap into these large set of single prints. So a lot of moving parts early this morning. And then just quickly on the chart, so here's the weekly. The weekly is very healthy. One time framing up. There's our trend line, though. We got close to it, right? We just missed September's high by about a buck and change. 
So that's our focal point. If we do take out last week's low at some point, well, again, I think the rally is going to be capped at last week's high, to be quite honest with you. If we're able to defend it, then I think we could come back and make higher highs. Here's your daily. The 200-day moving average right now is at 403.74 prior to the opening. So we're right above it. We're going to see if that holds. If that does not hold, well, you're going to be taking out Friday's low and eating away at those single prints from the 30th. Whether you want to call this a two-day balance or a three-day balance is all subjective. If you're calling it only a two-day balance, well, then once we take out or if we take out Friday's low, the daily would be back to down. I'm not sure what I would call it yet. I'll leave that up. Um to see how we end today's action. Good luck trading today. Thanks for likes and subscribing, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.